What's up, YouTube family? If y'all like, if y'all new to the channel, I'm gonna try to hit that like button. If you not seen the video, I'm gonna hit that subscribe. Let's get into this. Listen, I was wrong about LeBron last night. I thought he was gonna have 40. I thought he have a nice little 40 piece, but he did. 25 came back down to earth. Okay, expected he had 20. What I want to talk about? I want to talk about LeBron James. Pass the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. LeBron James less than 500 points away for Pazza Kareem. He less than 500 points away, guys, because the all-time leading scorer, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. What does that mean when he passed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? Do that make him the greatest of all time? Do that make him better than Michael Jordan? Do that make him better than Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? Do that make him the best, the greatest basketball player ever to live? Listen, I'm going to be truthful. Honestly, yeah. In my opinion, it did not. It does not. But in a lot of people's opinion, in a lot of people's opinion already, it, it is. But in my, but my, th my, my request to you, to y'all, to them, was Kareem the greatest player ever for the last thirty years? No, we said Jordan was. Then they got some fools said LeBron is. So no, it doesn't mean a lot. So th this is what I take away from LeBron James career. I think LeBron James has had will. Once he passed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, we have the greatest basketball career ever. Keyword career. I think, and that, and that's not to sum up Kobe or LeBron, Kobe or Jordan being less than LeBron. We all think they better. Most of us think they better. That's, that's like a pure better basketball player. You know what I'm saying? Like, I made a video yesterday. I like make a goat against. Never play, never play zone defense against Kobe Bryant. He gonna eat that shit a lot because you let him get to spots where the defense is is, is off balance. He get to, he, he want to get to spots, so he choosing spots and he want to feel the defense, so he can rise up and shoot anywhere on the court. So and he can get to anywhere on the court because his ball handling skills and his shooting skills. So that's one of the worst defenses ever. He need to be double team, man coverage, trapped. Right? You don't want to play that kind of deal against LeBron. He got to think. Right? People say he got the smartest, best record in the world. That's a lie. Because he can't think, he can't think out of his zone. That's how he lost to Dallas. That's how he lost to San Antonio. San Antonio went on the screams. Dallas played zone. He didn't know how to tag it. In the 2008 Olympics, Kobe and Dwayne Wade, the only people that know how to attack the zone. And that's why they end up being the two leading scores in that Spain game. Uh, so, it's just a difference in offense ability, defense ability that Kobe and Jordan has over LeBron. When you talk about somebody that's 6'8", 6 6'9", 6 260, a locomotive, that can run fast, move fast, they have handles like a guard, and have a body like Carl Malone. How can you stop him? You can't stop him from getting to the rim. It's like, yeah, you cannot. You got to build a wall. You cannot stop these guys. Even in year two, you cannot stop LeBron from getting the basket. I'm sorry. So, the problem I have with the NBA and a lot of people that don't watch the NBA, they rather watch college and in, in, uh, in high school, if they don't full cut press, they don't press the guys. And they don't build, and they don't stop the run lanes to have them contest the threes. I mean, not contest, contest the layups, contest the dunks. Once you get LeBron Lane contested dunks and contested layups, he, the basket get bigger. He's gonna make jump shots. He's gonna start getting rid of shooting jump shots, right? So I said it to say LeBron James' offense game is limited, but on the athletic side, he's he's man, he is special. No doubt about it. Like he still get up there, like he can get up there like 15 years ago when he go in that tech and dunk the rim. Man, it's ridiculous. So for him breaking Kareem Abdul Jabbar, a lot of them points came in. There. And uh, he he got all take all the records. He got the most scoring points, more all star points, more points on Christmas. He got four MVPs, got four championships. Uh, what 19 all first teams? He got like 18 first teams. He got 19 all star appearances. The most. I think he up to what 13 or 14 first team our, our first team like 13 first team all selections excuse me 13 or 14 right so he got the record for that he's gonna have a record more points he got 10,000 assists he got every statistic number that matter and they come with longevity but it come with greatness it come with greatness anybody can't go out there and just do it so that's not place to match don't I say what well, anybody why this person do it he he has greatness in his blood. Is he greater than other guys? No, no. But when you talk about greatest careers, 
you talking about LeBron James, Steph Curry. I think Steph Curry will have a greater career than Kobe Bryant because Steph Curry got two MVPs, one unanimous, four championships. Let right alone the two MVPs and how the media treats him, he's going to have a better career. You know what I'm saying? Like, what what the nerds and what the and analysts today, how they deem Kobe Bryant as an inefficient. Because you know what? The mid-range shot is an inefficient shot. They, they want to take twos and threes. So Kobe's whole game was mid-range. Mid-range mid -range and get to the basket. A step out, shoot three. He made a majority of his game through the shooting jump shots, mid-range area. A lot of these people say it's inefficient. So it's not a Kobe. It's not a Kobe in, uh, inefficient player. One of the greatest th take away from it is just that that shot that he took, his signature shot, was inefficient compared to the people that's running the NBA today. And so they say, well, LeBron James was more efficient because LeBron James get dunks and layups. But what we look at it as inefficient, we look at how the hell he made them shots. He one of the greatest tough shot makers ever. I can I go to court and try to like practice those Kobe shots. Like with defense, I'm, I, I want I want people in my face. I want to like pump fake. I want to be off balance. I want to. Do contest. I want, I, want, I want to do it to be in my. I want to do it to hit my hand and shit. I want it to be hand in my face. I wanted to practice those shots, bro. To say, yeah, bro, I'm the best at this. I'm, I'm cold, bro. Whatever you defense doing ain't working. I'm, I'm in your ass, in your eye. That, 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 that's what I. That's why I want to say, man. That boy nice. We look at Kobe like, yeah, that boy nice. We look at LeBron like, that boy strong. And that's the difference when you talking about the player's game. But Atley, you can take a career. Got a greater career. You can, some people can argue say Tim Duncan had a greater career because he got two MVPs. Just to run along the double MVPs, but you can't say Tim Duncan got a better career because Kobe got 30,000 points. Like, Kobe individually is way better than Tim Duncan, and they got the same five championships, so it's, like, ridiculous. But people going to argue stuff. Curry got a better because he's more efficient. The three ball, he's used the three ball. The three ball is prevalent into Steph Curry game. So when we look at we got to look at all those things, separate the career from who the better player. Right? Separate the career from who the better player is. And, that, and that's my message for today. Like, subscribe, guys.